Hello world, this is Chris with Elevations doing an unboxing of the Vex Robotics second generation IQ bundle system. So this is something we've been waiting for a little while to actually pull the trigger on, um, but we are preparing for the state level competition now and made the decision to move on to the generation two with our two primary competitive teams. There's a couple different benefits to these brains, but we'll go over that in a different video. Uh, one of the big things you'll see is you have the uh, higher end screen on the brain itself. We also have the lithium batteries, so the lithium batteries versus the older nickel metal hydride batteries. It gives you a higher amperage output for a longer period of time. So in essence, you don't have to be as concerned about your battery dying in the middle of a match uh, because it does hold that power for quite a bit longer. So without further ado, let's open this here. As you can see, there are a couple different uh, packages here. I am going to let the kids open up one of these at least on their own when we get in for practice tomorrow. So let's start getting this thing going. Just came in from Vex today. Looking forward to seeing what we have. All right, so this is a bundle kit. So as you can see, it does have the controller. Then we have four different... Uh, motors here as well as some sensors light color LED display stuff like that It does also come with some more of these connection wires uh, The actual kit that it comes with there you can see is the 4012 the benefit there is we do have a number of shorter wire connections, longer wire connections. We are running short on wires in essence because of lines getting pulled out, damaged, just years and years of use. So it's nice to have that along with it. Let's first take a look at the sensors. So this is one of the newer sensors that they have. I do believe this is a distance center. As you can see here, the 22301 AG. We'll review that sensor a little bit more in depth than in another video, uh, but that is definitely something that's hopefully going to assist us in some of our autonomous programming. The next one we have right here, that is the 22301 AG. So again, that is the same one as far as the part number goes there, 22301 AG. However, they are definitely different sensors, so I'll have to look into that a little bit more. Here's a difference. So we have 2287082 and 2287016. I'll bring this close to the camera so something you can see. I did not notice that they did this before we ordered. Let that focus here. So you can see this one has what looks to be like a wall and some dots and then the actual sensor itself. This is an indicator that I do believe this will be the distance sensor and this will be the color sensor. So you'll have some different capabilities with this one. I do believe we used to have a color sensor and the Gen 1, however, is definitely not a very high quality system. Hopefully this distance sensor is going to be a lot better than some of the other ones that we've seen in the past as well. That was one of my biggest complaints with the Vex IQ equipment is just the sensors are very low quality. Speaking of sensors, this brain does actually have a six axis inertial sensor. That's something that's gonna be very beneficial for your autonomous to be able to keep track of what movements you've made. And the last thing we have here is a pretty basic, same thing as what we've seen in the past uh, with the Gen 1, that is the 228-3010. So this is the touch and LED sensor so you can uh, does have some momentary touch sensing capability as well as the led for portion so this entire thing is top white section does change colors you can do green red blue a lot of different uh, colors you can do there though really the benefit of this type of a addition to your robot is you can have it change different colors based on the RPMs of a flywheel, for example. If it's touching something, if you have a rocker or something along those lines in different positions, you can have this up to the top of the robot so that as the children are driving, you can get an indicator of what direction something's moving, what position something's in, even if you cannot actually see the entirety of your robot. So these little informational feedback are certainly a beneficial thing that I have. One thing that I always teach the kids is when you're building robots and you're doing some troubleshooting, you're doing these uh, different tests and things, 
to find ways to make your robot talk back to you. And that's in a way we use the screen to be able to say things or, or give a readout of what the sensors are showing. But that's one thing that the LEDs are nice for is they can give you a little bit of a bi-directional communication. So you're obviously driving the robot around and telling what to do. But this is one way that the robot can tell you what position it's in or if a button has been pushed and ready to proceed to the next piece. So let's go on with pulling the controller out. At first glance, it is quite similar or nearly the same as the Generation 1 controller. The one thing, as I recall, that the difference is, if you look, you do also now have a push down. So even though all these buttons are the same, you don't have a lot of extra buttons that you could utilize, you do have the center pushes. So as you can push that down, you can push that one down. That definitely gives you some extra capability. And you can see here, this is the R3 push down. Then you have your C axis left and right, your D up and down, uh, L3 push down, B left and right, A up and down. Then obviously the same buttons that we had in the past of the F up and down, E up and down, L and R. The nice part I can see here is this is a USB-C charging capability for the uh, lithium ion that is built into this Generation 2 controller. I do believe that as a quite bit of an upgrade in terms of communications and capability you no longer are dealing with the chips on this system so you don't have to swap around chips or if you have bad connections or anything along those lines uh, once you pair that to the brain it is good to go that's all built in certainly beneficial let's pull the plastic off of this and see what we got left in the box all right so again as we talked about this in the past we do have four brand new motors come in this package i do not believe there's any big upgrade or improvement on these motors versus the gen 1 motors uh, the one thing to always keep in mind is these things can burn out you are putting a lot of strain on them especially if you're using for your drivetrain or a heavy lifting uh, type of a function and one thing that i was really hoping at some point they would make some changes to this is a plastic insert so something to keep in mind if you do have issues with slippage to keep an eye on that little square insert on your motor itself because an axle can end up slipping through that if you have a lot of torque requirements on that little piece of plastic so we do have four of these guys we'll do some more looking on these motors themselves and see in the future if they do have more capabilities and we'll make another video about that so it does have an included usb cable that is a usb c for charging of that controller there it does not come with a wall wart of any sort but pretty much every phones and other devices you can use the same standard universal serial bus here on top of the brain you have the actual manual itself for the iq electronics second generation certainly a benefit it goes over some of the information just as we were talking about that sensor before again i'll do another video specifically on that sensor but there's definitely a lot of capabilities with this gen 2 electronics that you should not have at all with that gen 1 system next we have the brain itself so this is the new gen 2 brain the one thing you'll notice right off the bat is you do not have an insert for that chip there's no communications chips to be swapped around because it is all built into the Gen 2 brain. That is very nice. Same type of a setup. And you will notice that 7.2 voltage, you can utilize a Gen 1 battery in this or a Gen 2 battery. Again, with the Gen 2 battery, you do have the added benefit of the lithium battery, which gives you that higher amperage and just better performance throughout a match. Obviously, it's not plugged in, so we can't take a look at that screen, but we'll take a look at some more things in the future and see what kind of capabilities of this once we get it on a robot and see what we can do. One thing to note, we do have that USB-C plug-in right here, as well as the SD card slot, which is certainly something nice to be able to have um, to be able to do the download with the standard newer USB-C type of cable, which we did just receive a lot of those cables. So it's beneficial to be able to charge that battery via USB-C as well as connect to the new brain via USB-C. Speaking of battery, this is the new lithium ion VEX IQ battery. One thing that I always tell people to do when they get new devices such as batteries and motors in to label them. So I'll be putting a label on this with a label maker indicating what day these showed up 
as well as a numerical identifier so you're able to keep track of which ones have been charged, which one may be going bad, and how old they are. An added benefit to the new Lithium Generation 2, besides being Lithium, is it does have a charge indicator. So you can simply push that button if there's any charge. So we do have a little bit of a charge right here, two lights. Well, this is likely in a storage state, so it's not fully charged. It's in a storage state that allows it to sit on a shelf for a long period of time. But that nice little momentary button gives you an indicator of how much power or life is left in that battery. As you plug that thing in, it will start to cycle, and you can see that it is charging. Once the lights go out, that's the indicator to let you know that it is fully charged. As you can note here, this is that lithium-ion battery. This is recyclable. However, you do not, and I say again, you do not throw this in the regular garbage. You also need to be careful about these batteries, depending on how you're storing them. You don't want to potentially uh, expose them to fire or anything like that, because these batteries can actually explode on you. So again, this is a lithium ion, so it's a 2000 milliamp, and I do believe that compares directly with the nickel metal hydrate of the original generation one brains. However, you do have that lithium ion capability, so even though your voltage will be the same at 7.2 volts, you do have that longer, higher output of this battery. So it's certainly a big benefit of moving on to your generation two batteries. And in terms of the unboxing, that is all we have. For the sake of demonstrating what charging looks like, I do have a USB-C cable right here. So we'll plug this guy in, and then you can see what it does when you plug it in. Plug that guy in, and as you can see there, the LEDs do come on, and that blinking lets you know that it is charging. It is only about halfway, so we'll definitely let that charge before we put it in the robot and start making... Uh, making it move, making it do things, uh, making all of the great things this lithium battery can do. This is one of the most exciting aspects of the Generation 2 systems, honestly, is the fact that you can use lithium. Those lithium batteries just have such a great capacity to be able to give higher amperage output, and that makes a big difference in some of these larger robots when you're doing a lot of different functions, or you're lifting things, or you're shooting things, or you're doing a lot of different stuff. That lithium power makes a really big difference. And again, as I had mentioned, it does come with another uh, wire package, just the 4012, pretty basic package. It was not even in the box, it's just part of the kit, so they throw it in the shipping box as well. And that is everything that I have today for the Generation 2 unboxing. We do have another one that we'll be having the kids do an unboxing once we, everybody gets in for practice tomorrow. Looking forward to putting these in use and seeing all the great things not only these new sensors, but these new brains can do. My name is Chris with Elevations. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below. And as always, I hope you learned something today.